The West Ham Massive are pleased to support Iron Supporting Food Banks. They are a group of West Ham fans and friends inspired by the work of other football food banks around the country. They collect food and cash donations for Newham Food Bank in Beckton, who supply sub-distribution centres in the borough seven days a week and hand out several hundred three-day emergency food packs every month to families in need. They are also working with other groups to improve conditions for vulnerable adults and children in the Newham community. You can help by making a donation to their Just Giving page. You will find the link to this in the description section of the video details in this stream. Thanks for your support. Come on, you irons. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the West Ham Massive. Thanks for joining me and please don't forget to drop a like on this stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Share this stream to your social media platforms and comment in the comment section below. All these things are free to do and help the channel out tremendously. And we thank you again for your support. So, we obviously did on the West Ham network i was doing a big debate show which you may have seen if not please go over to the west ham massive and have a look and we then did the aftermath straight afterwards but before we signed off on the big debate on the west ham network coming up to around about 10 o'clock there was a tweet that went out from the world-renowned journalist fabrizio romano now I'm just going to share it with people just in case maybe people aren't fully aware. There was two tweets that came out back to back. I'm not quite sure which one came out first, if I'm being brutally honest. So I'm just going to press the button and, and share it with you and you can see it for yourself. So you know that this isn't some load of old nonsense that I've concocted. Um, so this is Fabrizio Romano and it's, it's he's done this tweet that says exclusive West Ham director Tim Stighton travels to Nice, West Ham United are hijacking the John Clare Todibo deal. Juventus in talks for weeks, but no green light from Nice. And there's an agreement now between West Ham and Nice. Done. 40 million euros plus sell-on clause is what he's saying. And we are trying to book a medical on Friday, which is actually, as I recalled this, it's actually four minutes past midnight. Um, on Friday morning itself. Yes, well, you know. Um, and then also there was another tweet that was around the same time. More details on this story. It says, obviously, oh, it's going to be a loan with an obligation to buy for €40 million Euros plus a sell-on clause. So, again, I think we're being very, very smart in how we're doing our business. And it's obviously, you know, he's, he's 24 years of age. I mean, you might not know too much about this guy. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a, a little idea on who he is and, and what this this guy is all about, what we're potentially getting involved in. So Jean-Claire Tadebo, to give him his full name, Jean-Claire Dimitri Roger Tadebo. The name Dimitri, uh, we all think of him, don't we? But he came through the Toulouse Academy. He uh, made his uh, professional debut for Toulouse B and then progressed into the first team. He had a spell at Barcelona. He was there for two years, but he only made four appearances in the first team for them. And then his contract was terminated by mutual consent. I don't know all the ins and outs. It was terminated by both Barcelona and Benfica. It was some deal that had been concocted between the two clubs. I'm not sure of the ins and outs, to be perfectly honest. But he ended up going to Nice in the end in 2021, which is his current club. And he's he's made a success of, of his career since then. He's managed to get his uh, two caps for the French national team. He unfortunately didn't make the cut for the Euros that's just 
a couple of weeks back, just sort of finished. Um, but he's obviously a young up and coming player, 24 years of age. He's six foot three, so he's quite physically imposing. Um, plays as a centre back predominantly, well, exclusively, in actual fact, through his career. Right footed as well. And his contract is currently set to expire at Nice in 2024. Um, but Nice need to get some money in coffers. And basically what's been happening is that there's been this back and forth between West Ham. It's a bit, a bit of a love triangle in essence. You've got Nice, who obviously is the club where he is at the moment. We want him. Juventus want him. He wants to go to Juventus. And I, I kind of get it. You know, there are, you know, a big, long-standing European tradition. You know, the old lady of, of Serie A, I think they're, 20 odd times Serie A champions. I mean, they've won two, three European Cups from memory. So they're a big heavy hitter. So obviously, I'm not saying that West Ham aren't because West Ham are massive. We all know that. But obviously, I can understand someone from France maybe having their head turned when the Italian giants come calling. But the money that they've put on the table and the money that we've put on the table, we the deal that we're putting to Nice financially is a is a better package. For them, Juventus just simply can't push the boat out like we appear to be able to do on this particular deal. So Nice want the player to go to West Ham. It's quite a strange thing. The club want him to come to us. He would prefer to go to Juventus. Uh, and it's this sort of back and forth, back and forth. But it now appears that it's got to a critical point where it looks like Tim Steyton is he's going to swoop. He's going to get in. He's, he's going to get the, the sort of like the wheels moving in the right direction for the club. And now it looks like finally we're, we've got some traction. The medical, it looks like, is going to be booked for today. And obviously, you know, if, if we can get that through, and I don't believe that there would be any problems for that. And then obviously, a, a personal terms, being the next thing, obviously, we need to clear off the list because the deal with the club is done. Then he would be a West Ham player very quickly thereafter. I would anticipate if he gets, if we get the the um, the medical done tomorrow, and providing we can obviously make sure we come to an agreement with the player on the his remuneration package, then I think that probably by the time we have the friendly against Celta Vigo on Saturday, it, it's possible it might even be done. Then and he might be paraded onto the pitch as, as sort of like a, a hero sort of coming out and, and sort of greeting the crowd. Maybe. I mean, it might be that it takes a little bit longer than that, potentially. But there is scope that by the time we get into the weekend, we might have another player. And, and, the, and the signings are coming thick and fast. And this would be a, a, another, another signing that really does strengthen the squad and gets the the stamp of the new manager onto the squad itself. We're gradually getting this squad is being obviously looks like he's going to be on his way to a club in Qatar. Uh, and obviously this is a countryman of his, a compatriot, fellow French international. Um, but obviously his knees are going to be in better condition, I would hope. And if not, then hopefully the medical does pick it up. And maybe we might, might want to reevaluate. But Jean-Claire Tadebo, you know, he's a, he's a, like I say, big, strong, powerful, quick across the ground, very cultured centre-back with a bit of aggression about him. As I say, I think he's he's what we need alongside Max Kilman. You know, we need to get... We've obviously got the offensive part of the team sorted. You know, when you look offensively, if we've got everybody fit and firing, you know, we're we're quite we're quite a, a scary unit when you look at it. We've got Bowen, we've got Somerville, we've got Kudus, we've got Fulkrug, we've got Pakitar, we've got um Mikhail Antonio that could rotate in and sort of like weave around and cause a bit of chaos as well. You know, Danny Ings could be used in a pinch. Um, you know, we've got some good attacking options that can sort of start or come off the bench, whatever, and Mick, Rick, uh, rotate around. But it's the defence that really concerns me, as I say. So getting Tadebo in is, is a key part of 
getting making sure that not only we can score goals going in in one direction, but in the other direction, we can make sure that we we're pretty tight and solid at the back and we keep the door shut and we're not going to get outscored by our opposition. Really good signing potentially. And as I say, I think the fact that it's going to be from according to Fitbrizio Romano's tweet that it's going to be a loan at the outset with an obligation to buy at the end of it, I think is really good business and uh, sets us in good stead for the for the upcoming season. But guys, what do you think? I'm giving you my thoughts on it. I'm, I'm articulating, obviously, the story that's come out from Fabrizio Romano, that it looks like this is now pretty close to a completion as far as we're concerned. But you might have other thoughts on it. You've got a comment section below. Get stuck into it. I really would appreciate it. And as what else I would really appreciate too is to make sure that you like this stream and it helps the channel out tremendously and it doesn't cost you a copper coin. Make sure you put a comment in the section below. Share this stream to your social media platforms. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. 70% of the viewers of this content in the last 28 days weren't subscribed to the channel so really would help the channel grow if you could just click subscribe again that doesn't cost you anything hit the bell icon for alerts and as always ladies and gentlemen we thank you very much indeed for your support we will see you again next time stay safe come on you irons